Hello friends, I'm Sneesh from Team Must and in this video, in this quick video, I'm going to discuss about uh, checking whether a particular year is a leap year or not. Although you assume that you know what is a leap year or not, but I'm going to prove you wrong. Before that, let me ask you something. According to your concept, is the year 1900 a leap year or a not? You would answer that 1900 is, is divisible by the number 4 years, then it comes out to be leap year. But I reply you that 1900 is not a leap year. Why? Let's see. Generally, there is nothing wrong about the concept that if the particular year is divisible by the number 4, it is leap year or not. But there is an exception with the case there if there are centuries. What I mean is if the year is 100, 200, 300, 400 or any number which ends with the 100, that simply means it's a century. So there is an exception for that. So what the exception is, let's see. Uh, in the normal years, uh, what I mean is, in the normal, which are the, the years which are known centuries, like example 2012, 2012, we'll just check it out, but dividing it by number 4, yeah, if the remainder comes out to be 0, that simply means it's a leap year. Yeah, it's a leap year, as the remainder is 0. But in case of centuries, what the exception is, you're going to check it by the number 400 instead of the number 4 so what I mean is if I'm, I'm gonna check for the year 100 is it a leap year I'm gonna check it dividing it by the number 400 as the remainder doesn't come out to be 0 that simply means it's a known leap year known leap year so similarly for the year 200 is it divisible by the number 400 no the remainder again comes out to be non zero which simply so we we'll conclude that it is again a non leap year similarly for 300 but 400 yes it's divisible by the 400 so 400 is a leap year is a leap year similarly if i'm going to check for the year 1900 1900 yeah but uh, let me divide it by 400 as it is a century again so remainder doesn't come out to be zero so that means it's a non leap Year. So this is the basic concept of checking whether a particular year is a leap year or not. Now as you are done with the concept of checking out whether a particular year is a leap year or not, you are ready to move to our next video in which I am going to discuss about the odd days, what basically the odd days are and how to find the number of odd days in a given particular time span. So hope you like this video, you can see the link of the next video right here on your screens right now. Do subscribe to our channel Team Must as there are a lot more videos coming on. Till then, be must and keep rocking.